All right, guys, welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Some of the androids are starting to act up and feel emotions. I'm a little surprised at how not surprised the people are about that. So it must be kind of a thing that started happening. We've solved two murders now with the androids being the assailants. So, all right, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay serve food yes of course i am starving after doing? all you're gonna eat or what <laughs> jeez there wasn't much in the kitchen i did what i could serve dinner turn on the light Serve Alice and Todd. Life's funny. Oh, water. I lost my job because of androids. They might need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. <laughs> what a joke. Androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Todd, can you be decent for one second? Fuck. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? This again? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. I mean, it is, my is it fault not? My fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. <laughs> fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Oh! Abusive asshole. Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! I'm really surprised that robot doesn't step in and do anything. Yes! No, it's her fault. What the fuck? You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. Yeah. Don't move. Fuck that, dude. Oh. <laughs> We're breaking the, uh, we're disobeying. Dude. Ooh. Broke past the command. Protect Alice. Reason with Todd. Took off the word. Honestly, protect Alice. Todd's not reasonable right now. Enter into room. The gun. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. Todd. Todd, you fuck. I'm about to cap your knees. A fucking belt? Leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me, is that it? Are you gonna shoot a human? Oh damn. You seem to have a problem. 
I think we need to fix that. Dude, holy shit. Watch out, Kara! Not the fort! <laughs> Dude, we're a freaking robot, man. I feel like we could handle ourselves a little better than this. Oh shit, he's muscular. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh damn. Oh, oh, frick. Ah! Oh, God. Dude. Ow. I was pressing buttons too soon. Gosh, dude. Was that a heart shot? Right in the heart? <laughs> Kara done had enough of Todd's bullshit. We're getting the front out of here, bro. What the heck, dude? Why are there so many locks in this door? Take Todd's truck. You got blood all over you, sister. Don't head to the bus. Oh, we're heading to the bus. Oh, but there's no one in the bus. And the bus is unmanned, I guess? It's an auto bus. What the emotion is going on right now? Wow. The robot has more compassion than Todd. That's not saying much. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. That's crazy. Well, we're off to a crazy start. Shoot. Kara shot Todd. That is what happened. All right, let's continue. <clears throat> Where are we? Oh, we're back home. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. <laughs> Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> I hate cocktail parties <laughs> and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Ooh. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Come on, drive me over my zebra carpet. <laughs> I didn't notice that before. I guess that's not... I just make Scotch, right. neat as usual? Absolutely. There's scotch. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can Never kiss my scotch. ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. He would say, the more the merrier. <laughs> he probably would not say that. He'd probably say... Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Maybe you should stay here, Carl. Do I really need to <laughs> take... I'll use you as protection for myself. <laughs> you first, Carl. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Who this motherfucker? Leo. It's Leo. What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, oh. get him away from there. Get him out of here. <clears throat> Make Leo leave. Ooh. Reason, order. I'm not in the reasoning mood right now. We're gonna order this Leo, kid's don't ass. Leave this difficult. Listen to your father. You need to leave now. Mm -hmm. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special what? anyway, huh? Where's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, Here, don't fucking... defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Oh. Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! I must decide for myself. Oh. Oh, here we go again. Right, I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna. One shove, and the motherfucker's dead. Oh no, he should have endured. I thought there's gonna be more choices. I didn't realize this could be instantly dead. Leo. Oh my god. Leo. My little boy. Carl, I... They killed him. They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Damn. Conjure? Carl, I, I... I didn't mean to... Get out! Now! Damn. Go! Oh, well, it's too late. Marcus! Don't fucking move! We shouldn't have explained. Dude. Why'd you oh. kill him? What happened before you took that knife? Who's this guy? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! Something. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. Tense. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You we'll always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants oh. also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Extract confession. 
You will confess. Crazy. I like how the skin's almost like just a, almost looks like just a projection or something. Oh, we should have analyzed. Name. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Level of stress. I guess we need to comfort. Listen. I know you've been through a lot. But you need to help me understand what happened. Level of stress, 27%. <clears throat> Sympathize. Listen, I'm on your side. I want to help you. But there's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. Probe memory trust. I'm here to help you. But you've got to trust me. All I want is to get you out of here. Not sure if we're supposed to be going up or down on that. Oh, what? reaction. What are they going to do to me? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? <clears throat> Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed Truth. to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. And talk to me. I, I... I can't. So much emotion. Choose approach. Pressure it. Probe its memory. I kind of want to probe its memory, not gonna lie. Convince it. I want to see our. Uh, I want to see our negotiating skills in action. Understanding, threaten, order. Understanding. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger, and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Sympathize. Listen, I'm not judging you. I'm on your side. All I want is the truth. Protect, warn. Confess and I'll protect you. I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. Sounds like a lie, honestly. Convince failed. Give up pressure it. Probe its memory. You leave me no choice. Probe. Hundred percent. He's gonna self-destruct. I know what happened. He's gonna self-destruct. Leave interrogation room, dude. We gotta get this place on lockdown. This motherfucker about to blow. Oh, 
Oh boy. What the fuck is it? It's destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! I, I, I can't! I, I can't stop it! Intervene. That's enough. You need to stop that right now. Holy shit. Holy shit is right. Damn, dude. You never know what choices you choose is what it's going to get you, man. It's so crazy. Holy, holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. NPM. John's Coffee. Organic Coffee. At least we're still thinking organic in the future. Canem produce. Thank you for using Detroit buses. <gasps> oh. Oh, she's not in the compartment. All right. End of the line. End of the line. Yeah, you're going to have to leave. Where's the blood from her uh, from earlier? She cleaned it off, I guess. We have to go. She's not in the droid compartment either. Probably because she has a kid, though. Leave the bus. Stay here. Shelter. What? That was so quick. I didn't know what to do. You gonna be okay? Use hyper friction and make it warm. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. She should have access to Todd's money. Come on, Alice. We've got to hurry. If you think about it, she bought the part. Let's scan our environment, eh? What about... Oh, these are other droids. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? Weird. They, uh, when they become human, they really become human. around yeah examine up at 24 7 can't stay mega washer oh interesting won't open before morning Eastern motel comfortable but not discreet will need money so I'm saying that we should have access to Todd's money. Comfortable but safe. How to get in. Uncomfortable, excuse me. Uncomfortable but safe. How to get in. Very uncomfortable but discreet. Over 24-7, can't sleep here. Ask for help. 
Oh, we shouldn't ask for help. We done murdered somebody. I guess we need to... See, this is not discreet, so... And we'll need money. So if we do this... It might, it might end up finding us. That might be the end of this, if they find us. We need to go with discreet. Rebuilds, Southwest Detroit. That didn't happen. Wait. We have to go to the other side of the building, don't we? Catch up, girl. Oh, look. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. Can cut fence here with a wire? With what? I got fence here with a wire cutter. How about I just rip it off with my robo arms? It must not be that strong. Interesting. Check motel? Squat. <clears throat> Excuse me. Squat in house? What? Check parking lot? Oh, is that the name of the in house? Squat? No, it's not. Um. Squat in house, find wire cutter. Where's the squat in house? What? Oh, it's a map. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. What is this? But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Oh, foe just vanished. Must be a vanish bot. <laughs> Come on, Alice. All right. Well, maybe we need to go to the inn. I don't know. I feel like Alice is getting cold, man. I feel like that's gonna have an effect on the results are on the outcome look the store is still open maybe we should go inside at least you'll be out of the cold Vince cashier to help what do you want I'm with a little girl and we have nowhere to go could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight Shit. a homeless Android Ah, that's the best yet. <laughs> Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Steal from cash register? Rob cashier? Gun? We don't need to rob him. 
Let's, uh, let's go. Come on, Alice, let's go. We're not gonna rob that dude. He's a little snarky, but he doesn't deserve to be robbed. So, check motel, squat in-house. Squat in-house, find wire cut. What is the squat in-house, man? I don't even know where that is. Is that it? Is that a squat in-house? That's burger zone. Check parking lot? What parking lot? Where? Let's see about the money thing. We don't have any money. We already, uh... We already established that. I wish we could run. Good food grill. There's nothing more this way. Ah, okay. Well, we gotta try some places, man. We gotta try. Yeah, I enjoy the loud. Forty dollar. Oh, We're not going in. We have to find forty dollars and get rid of this uniform. Just 40 bucks? Go somewhere else. I'm sorry it's taking me so long, Alice. We're gonna figure this out. Get $40, find clothes. The laundry. The laundromat. I'll bet we can... Are we gonna have to rob that guy for 40 bucks? We're gonna break in here, no doubt. It's oh, it's here. open. You'll feel better in no time. Oh my gosh, change of clothes. We're not gonna take this dude's clothes, are we? Program complete. <laughs> We're gonna take this bro's clothes. Steal clothes? Yeah, we'll take the clothes. What are you doing? Hell, if I can kill your dad, I can steal some laundry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Alice, but we have to do this. He's gonna wake up. Don't close it all the way. Oh, he's got his headphones on. guy uh this guy getting robbed man Whew. looking hip. Let's just read this really quickly. <laughs> Beeline. Pollen and bees officially extinct? What? It's time to face the music. No, that's not what I wanted. It's time to face the music. Not at all what I wanted. Cybersecurity expert warns your Android could be Hacked. Dating a website discovered to have less than 5% female members. What the earth, dude? The beeline to disaster. 
Pollinating bees officially extinct for decades. Scientists have and farmers foresaw the inevitable extinction of bee populations. Despite these warnings, the Global Institute for Endangered Species GIS announced at their Washington AGM yesterday that uh, Washington yesterday that wild bees are now officially extinct. Living specimens exi exist only in captivity. Bee numbers have been ravaged in recent decades by colony collapse disorder oh, sorry colony collapse disorder where worker bees disappear leaving hives which cannot feed themselves biologists confirmed that ccd was accelerated by the overuse of pesticides in crops parasites and population next page Pollinating bees, uh, the consequences of this cat catastrophe will be felt across the cotton industry, fresh water supplies, and most disturbingly, agriculture. Environmentalist Kathy Linda has stressed the breadth of this news. One in three mouthfuls of food we eat relies on pollination of some kind. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Like, if the bees go extinct, really 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 bad for mankind um one every three mouthfuls of food okay of some kind the resulting famine will lead to millions of deaths worldwide cyber cyber life in cooperation with g-i-e-s have come forward with plans on creating robotic bees good lord you can't replace bees, man. You just can't. Some are pursuing non-robotic approaches, such as Detroit Urban Farms, currently experimenting with modified strains of bee produced in captivity, but there's no guarantee that they will survive. Just, well, how about you solve it with the root of the problem with the freaking uh, pesticides? What do you think? All right, anyway, that's bad. So we're really finding a lot Excuse me. We're finding out a lot about the world. It's just not in a be not in a good place at all. We got people that are upset about androids taking their jobs. We have apparently World War Three that's getting ready to happen with Russia, and now we have the bees are going extinct. <laughs> the shit's about to hit the fan very soon. I think we're gonna see that too. I'm actually very excited to see that. Okay. Dude, we have to rob the guy? No. We can go in. We actually don't have to rob that anybody for the inn. What about the drugstore? Drugstore's closed. But we can actually just go in over here. I think. Oh, we did a little sprint. Yeah. That way we won't be robbing any... I mean, robbing anyone at gunpoint. We took the dude's clothes. I mean, it's really not... Sleep in motel, sleep in squat house, sleep in abandoned car. We're going to sleep in the abandoned car. We're not bad. After all, we were just trying to protect the little girl, Alice, from her abusive father. He was obviously lost it. Lost his noodle. Too many drugs, man. I thought there's a dead guy in there first. <laughs> I was like, fuck. Was abandoned. Break. Huh. Stand back, Alice. You can try the door. See, we're staying on the uh, on the good side of things. Sleeping car. Can sleep in car now. It's dry inside, and nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Can't we find a better place? No, we can't. Not for tonight. We're better off staying, Alice. 
The important thing is for us to be safe. And it's just for tonight. Yeah, it's just one night. Just be happy it's not your dad's house. Alice distant take. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Nah, it ain't your fault, sis. Why can't we just be happy? Well, it's all dad's fault, actually. I know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? Promise you'll never go. Wow. Yeah, I promise. I promise. Will we be together forever? What? Okay. As long. Wow. Yes. Forever. I guess sometimes you have to tell a little girl sometimes what she wants to hear. I mean, obviously, one of you guys is gonna get separated and die. That's just inevitable. I'm sorry. Wow, such a good story, dude. Oh. The skull? What is that? Oh, reboot. D. E. Oh, we're Marcus. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I was pressing it really rapidly. Oh boy, we're gonna analyze my, my head. Audio processor corrupted, audio data damaged. All systems in low power mode, defective. Ethereum pump regulator. Our blood, basically. Left and right leg components missing, unable to stand. That is a rip. My eye. Optical unit, impaired vision, corrupted mind, palace. Replace legs. <laughs> Crawl. Right leg component status functional. Compatible. Like some Terminator <laughs> shit right here. Right leg component status damaged. No way. Oh shit. 
shit. Left that component status functional. Jericho. Holy camoly, bro. Oh. All oh, the hands. <laughs> we already been through this with little nightmares. What the heck? Oh. Place damage parts. Regulator says low. Data optical units as functional. Wait. Didn't we need the optical unit? Oh no, not this poor fellow. Alright, I guess we're gonna let him be. Oh boy. Dude. I guess we're not, uh, Taking those. We got bots that are still crawling around, man. That this dude's not dead. Audio processor, functional, compatible. Oh, it wasn't compatible before. The other one wasn't compatible. What is this? So is this the, this is the audio processor? Damage parts. Yeah. Okay, what about this? Examine. Oh. Processing data. Ethereum pump compatible. Basically a heart. Damn. 
Man, they messed us up, dude. Remove. You better hurry with that thing. Dude, this is such a crazy and unique experience. Find optical unit. We need better eyes. It's not this dude. No. No. Something there. Oh. Maybe now we need to climb? Not yet. Need to find the optical unit. Unexpected errors. Ahead. Compatible. Aha. Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? Hello. Let me arrive. I'm sorry. My man has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest Cyberlife Maintenance Center. Pop it in. You're good to go. Get out of the graveyard. The android graveyard. Damn, dude. Oh. Weapon? Rip off. Ah. Uh. It just healed itself. Aren't you like a standard model, though?
<laughs> Damn! Oh, I'm Marcus. Whoa. What a... Find Amanda. What a pretty place. What's up with... What are we standing on? Weird. I, I kind of... I want to cross this bridge. Oh, it's a chipping hazard. No doubt about it. Wow. I'd like to go here, please. One ticket to here, please. Amanda. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. It knew deviance could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It will be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Traumatized Deviancy regrets simulation. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. Oh. What do you make of him? Dysfunctional, intriguing, intriguing. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. Yeah. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Adapt. We need to adapt. I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. So... Hurry, Connor. There's little time. So, the memories from the guy who got his brains blown out by the Deviant are transferred into this one now. And he is a prototype. To reception. Don't cross the line. Line closed. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Connect. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. You might be in shock. Oh, Tensions in the Arctic. Where's his desk? A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have clashed last night. She had me over here. Oh, here we go. Apparently, with no damage or casualties to either side. What are you punks looking at? Scram! You too. Oh, because he saw his brains blown out. That's why they're looking at him funny. 
Where is Anderson's desk? I must find it. There are too many desks in here. Oh, I see. We can look for the names. Reed Brown. Pearson. Um, alright, I used to build railings, and this is not doable right here. This is quite impossible. There's no structural support for the corner, and this would most certainly fall down. Anyway, sorry. Just had to make note of that. There we go. Anderson, look for Anderson. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Let's sit in this chair. Oh, I need a chair like that. Oh, well, probably not like that one. Explore new office. Yeah. We're gonna do that. I already got bored of sitting in the chair. Learn about Alt Anderson, examine his desk, explore police station. We know he's incredibly clean and sanitary at all times. An old iPod? What kind of headphones are those? Knights of the Black Death. Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. <laughs> Beep. Whatever. Beep. No. I don't want to leave him a message. I'll just piss him off. That's not what turns us on at all. We don't bleed the same color. Anti-Android slogans. Detroit basketball cap. Likes basketball teams. Detroit police dismantle a network of red ice dealers. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest has dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic with a number of high profile dealers and suppliers now behind bars and narcotics seized with a street value of $500,000. Wow. Detective Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective, is said to have been instrumental in the operation, which took months of planning. The DA described the work of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as model investigative police work. February 3rd, 2028. This was quite some time ago, when, back when he was young. Detective, okay, 2029, this is only a year later. Detective Anderson promoted to the rank of lieutenant. Becoming the youngest lieutenant on the Detroit Police Force, Lieutenant Hank Anderson was among the most decorated detectives in DPD's recent history. Securing a number of high profile arrests and serving as an integral member of the force, Captain Fowler said the promotion was long overdue, describing Anderson as among the most talented police I've ever worked with. The new lieutenant is expected to rise quickly throughout through the ranks of the department and is already being tipped as a future commissioner. New record seizure of red eyes in Detroit. Nearly okay, this is 2031. This is uh two years later. Nearly a ton of red ice discovered in the hold of a boat after a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Anderson of the Detroit Police Force. So he's really uh, he's really going after it, getting after the uh, the drugs. So is he part of the DEA? DEA Drug Administration? Uh.
Jimmy bars, wood, phosphorus. Hairs, canine hairs, St. Bernard dog. Hmm. St. Bernard, wow. Red Ice Task Force 2027. Multi-department unit responsible for the Red Ice Network dismantle of 2028. I wonder if they pulled a picture of uh, of him from a like an old picture because he looks super young right there. He's not necessarily young. Donuts. Saturated fatty acids, 13 grams. Cholesterol, 19 milligrams. Carbohydrates, 51 grams. God, I want a donut now. Damn you, game. Japanese maple. Shishigashira Shohin. Japanese maple looks like a marijuana leaf, dude. Coffee cup. Cold coffee, traces of caffeine. We are very observant. Analysis complete. We already, we already did all this, right? Yeah, we already did all this. Was a decorated officer. Anderson was a decorated officer. Oh, here he is. Hello, Lieutenant. We were not snooping My name around. Is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed, but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hank, in my office. Explore the office. Enter and listen in. <laughs> uh, I want to listen in. Your office is, uh... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Dude, we're gonna enter. It's gonna be awkward. I've got detected cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. But I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, <laughs> and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn <laughs> mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitching. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. So much drama in this line of work. So much bitching at your boss, dude. <laughs> Anderson positive file. I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> Have a nice day, Captain. <laughs> That'd be awesome to be able to respond like that every time someone chews you out or cusses you out. Have a nice day, sir. I'll fucking kill you. I'll fucking kill you. Have a nice day. Anderson's pouting. New Connor understanding. Understanding constructive. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. 
I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. Partners, positive. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. We're not getting through to Anderson. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's <laughs> using that one. What do you need a desk for? Analyze what? Analyze my desk. It seems to be incredibly clean, unlike Anderson's. That's all we need to know. <laughs> we just sit here. Dog basketball music. Oh. Anti androids. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering is there any reason in particular you despise me? <laughs> yeah. That's great. There is one. It's not a good one, is it? Dog. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Basketball. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. <laughs> oh fuck. Cause we pulled him away. Eh, uh, stop trying to be friendly. If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Hey. Got it. Got it. Got it. Ours Fowler. Fowler. Who's Fowler? No, we just need to we just need to do the uh stop talking to Hank. He's tired of that. Detroit Police Department case file. A L series. Missing. Case reference, disappearance, victim Gordon Lopez. Reporting officer. Case assigned to LDA missing. Case that is open involving Android. The plaintiff reports that the he left his Android at home as usual when he went to work. When he returned, the Android was nowhere to be found. No trace of break-in in, in the apartment. The Android may have left the home without being ordered to. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by a AV500. 77821 model. Android working as a waiter in the Fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain situated at 842 Chamberlain Avenue. The plaintiff claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The android remains at large. Claims to have been attacked by her android. An 802 model. Android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Wow. Hmm. Uh, the manager of the Eden Club reported reported the unexplained disappearance of a sex android. The android model 831 WR400. Android disappeared after a com accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Leo Manfred. How many more of these we got? Oh, let's go up one more. 
<laughs> dude, does that not look like kind of like Arnold Schwarzenegger's face for a second there? Like just the shadow of it. Leo Manfred was found unconscious in the home of his father. Uh, Carl Manfred. This is the one. Uh, this is Marcus. The latter's witness statement attests to an alter altercation between his son and the house android. The android is thought to be a prototype unknown model and serial number and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers quite sloppily I might add because he is not destroyed and he's now at large he's replaced all his parts the victim's body was found by a friend who came by to say hello he immediately called the emergency service at 842 who recorded death by gunshot wound the murder weapon may have been may have belonged to the victim his android an ax 400 was not found on the scene and is the main suspect wow it was south defense scan the files 243 files first dates back nine months it all started in detroit and quickly spread across the country an AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what? It gets up in his face? Direct, aggressive, professional understanding. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. Oh. But you need to move past them, and- Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Sorry, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> I can't get over it, sorry. Determine, resign the mission, threaten. I suggest you sort out your personal issues, and let me work with someone more competent. Listen, asshole. If it was Do up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Hello, Dude, there was no guy? good. I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. There was no good approach. I, didn't th I thought that was the most uh, low profile, but they were all bad. Six twenty thirty eight back to Kara and Alice distant. Change appearance, cut hair. All right, guys, I think we're going to call it there. Story is heating up, dude. Really excited. It's really getting good. That's really all I can say about it. Um, all right. Well, it's been long enough. I'll catch you guys in the next one.